Hey, the PMP exam is one of the most difficult tests for professionals, and we've heard this from everyone. But not to worry, you have a coach who eats the PMBOK for lunch. Here he is to set the record straight for you, your friend Phil. Hello, my friend. I hope you are doing awesome, and I hope your day is coming along well. Well, you know why we're here today? It's Earned Value Day. And I hear that little voice in the background. I'm scared. I'm scared of earned value. And my EACs help. I don't want to study earned value. Some people being little wimps regarding earned value. We need to put a stop to that. So this is the earned value boot camp to boot that nonsense out of your vocabulary. How dare you tell me you're scared of earned value? I'm scared. EACs. I can't cram them. Help. That's how some people are crying about EACs. You guys are project managers on big multi-millions. Some of you may be even approaching the billies. And you're here whining about EACs. We're going to put a stop to that tonight. We're going to try to get you in ship shape for the PMP exam where earned value is concerned. So I'm going to put up my no whining sign. No whining allowed. We're going as hard as possible right now on earned value. Our main intent with all this stuff is to get to the point where you feel very, very comfortable with earned value management. That's my main aim. If I can get to the point where you feel comfortable with earned value, then I would have achieved my goal tonight. So why don't you chat in to me? I'm very curious to know, first of all, how you're doing. I hope you're doing good. But I also complete, and this is key. Your cost baseline is not just, oh, it's five million total. No, no, no. You got to break it down, folks, into the time phases. Q1 is two million. Q2, Q3 is five million, like that. Break it down into time periods, either by quarter or by month or by week or by day, depending on your project, all right? So the cost baseline is the planned cost over specific time periods in the project. For you to really know what the cost baseline is, you're thinking about the time phased budget at completion. Because if you don't phase out your budgets, your cost baseline, or your BAC, how are you going to measure performance? Okay? So keep that in mind. Very important. Another big part of cost management is project funding requirements. So it's one thing to know earn value and how we need a time phased budget. But even before you get to control costs, do you know that you should inform management about project funding requirements? This is when you say, oh, I can't remember if it's B or if it's E first. Just remember B comes before E in the alphabet. B comes before E in the formula. So your variance at completion in that scenario in dollars would be $40 minus $60 and that will give you a minus $20. And that is how you apply the formula. If you have a minus, you're going to be over. If you have a plus, you're going to be under. Okay?